Hey Pasha, what are you doing? I am playing with these blocks, but it's quite boring. Not really. I can make it interesting for you. You could learn some mathematical tricks using these blocks. Really? How is that? By using the blocks to represent four digit numbers. Please show me how to do it. Well, we know that four digit numbers have four places: ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. So, first, let me create blocks for each of the place values. Let these single blocks represent the ones. Now, let me use my magic glue to stick 10 blocks together. See, I have just created a rod out of 10 blocks of ones. Let us call it the tens rod. Now, let's use 10 such rods and try sticking them together. What we now have is a flat sheet made up of 10 tens. Let us call this the hundreds sheet. Guess what? Now we shall use ten such sheets and stick them together with magic glue. Okay, we have finally created a new bigger block. Let us call it the thousands block. Now, let us look at an example to see how numerals can be represented by blocks. In the numeral two, three. One five. We shall first identify the place value of each digit. Now you can see that the digit in the thousands place is two. So there should be two blocks of thousands. The digit in the hundreds place is three. So there should be three sheets of hundreds. The digit in the tens place is one, so there should be one rod of tens. Finally, the digit in the ones place is five, so there should be five blocks of ones. You see, we have represented the four-digit number with blocks. That's amazing. Now I too can use blocks to represent other four-digit numbers. Sure, why not?